Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to unbox and also review the X96 Mini, which is Android 7.1. It is in Android TV box, which is sent to us by banggood.com. You can see it that the box is very nicely designed. Going around, it doesn't have much marking, but once we open it, the box is sitting right on the top of the components that are part of this is the X96 Mini box itself. Also comes with a IR remote and also comes with a power supply which is created for Canada and United States. It is 5 volt. Also comes with a user manual. It has a lot of information in it, but we're going to put everything aside. First, you can see the remote. It is just a IR remote. You really need to have air mouse remote. Links will be available. We can order the air mouse remotes from. Again, you can see that the box itself is very nicely designed. It's very small and also you can go around it. On the top, it says X96 Mini. You can see that sides are cut a little bit different. And also when you go in the front part of it, it has nothing but just the IR indicator. And once you turn it on, it turns a little blue light. Going on the right side of it, there's nothing there. But once you go to the back from the left side, you can see that it has 5 volt DC connection. Right beside that, you have the 10100 LAN connection. And then you have the HDMI 1.4 right beside that you have the AV connection there is no RCA adapters but right beside that you have the IR little hole so this way you can extend your remote to go further those little parts are not included inside the box going on the other side of it you have two USB 2.0 ports and then you have the TF card reader going in the bottom part of it, you have four little legs so you can stand up and has a lot of holes for ventilation. But if you can see, it has a little part so you can put two nails on the wall and you can hook it up on your wall or you can hook it up at the back of your TV. All right, enough said about this. Let's get this box connected. So first, make sure that you connect your air mouse remote dongle and then connect your HDMI. And if you have LAN connection, go ahead, connect that too. And then the power. As soon as you hook up the power, you should see a little blue light in the front of the box and then it will go into the X96 Mini logo and then it goes into an animation. This is the main screen that you're going to see. So you have the Smart TV Box logo right on the top and then you have a little portion this will take from your IP address in order to update and see where you are. You have the LAN connection or Wi-Fi connection right beside it and then you have the time sitting on the right hand side on the top. Except that you have huge icons for Play Store, browser, video and apps and all the rest. The bottom part is where you can create a shortcut. So this way you can add or remove certain apps from the bottom. But we have customized that for now so this is what we are going to use. I have to let you know that this is OS 7.1. And once we go under settings, you can see the setting goes from the side. But once you go under about and we go bottom under version, you can see that this is 7.1.2. This is the S905W version. We will get out of this. All right, so we can go under apps. So you can see that there are a lot of apps that we have loaded on this. So the first thing we will go through is going to be the Antutu. You can see that as soon as we start playing with it, we got 26,906. Again, this is a budget box. The next thing we will go through is going to be Geekbench. Now, the best part about this is it automatically tells you that what the model number is, what OS you're running, and if the CPU is an actual ARM AM logic, or if it is a different type, which is all winner, or if it's rock chip. You'll see it here right away. But since we have already run the benchmark, we will go under history, and we can see it that under single core, we got 507, and under multi core, we only got is 1425. Root checker. A lot of people likes to see this, and yes, you have full root access on this, so you can take advantage of it, and you could do certain backups, or you wanna do more. The next thing is the speed test. Remember that it has a LAN connection and Wi-Fi. So the LAN connection is 10100, and these are the results that we have got. I have to let you know one thing, that they really need to do a little bit more work on their LAN in order this is a software base that they could make this a little bit better and also on their Wi-Fi section of it this is only coming with 2.4 G network which is single band Wi-Fi so yes that's why you see the numbers are very little and yes they need to have a little work on it to make it a better box but for the meantime if you are near to your router or you want to wire this it will work like charm the next thing we have done is run the 
DVR RAM check and you can see that it doesn't support Netflix HD. And this is one of our own video running it through YouTube. And once we go under the quality itself, you can see that it does not go over 720p for any of our videos. This video is 1080p, but it can only play it as 720p right now. The next thing we will go through is going to be KD through USB. So this is running to our 10100 over Wi-Fi and we're going to try to play our videos. So first thing we will do is the 4K video and let's see how fast they will grab it from our network and it will play. So you can see that right now it's just delayed a little bit and it's still waiting for it to play. And there you go, once it starts playing, there is a little pause to it since it grabs it from our network and brings it down. And again, this is the 2G network or 2.4G network that we have on this and it's just trying to play it. You can see that it's keep buffering and it's not really playing it for us, but let's just stop this and let's go through and play our 1080p video. You can see that automatically start playing it for us and yes, there is a little bit choppiness to it since it goes through the network again, it grabs it and this is not wired, so it's wireless that we are playing this from. So if I wire it, I am sure that there should not be any kind of delay, but since this is running through the Wi-Fi network and it grabs it from our network and there's nothing else we're actually playing, but this is what's going to happen. So yes, there is a little bit of a delay. You can see that. So it is lacking on that too. Now that's not the only thing that this thing have a little problem with. So it does have some little goodies, something like clean memory just to jump and put you totally off. But one more thing is it does not have Bluetooth built in. So if I have to go under settings, and I want to go and I have to go through and try to find Bluetooth. There isn't a setting that says Bluetooth on this, so I can set it up. Yes, so if you do have Bluetooth speakers, if you do have a gaming controller that is Bluetooth, you cannot really pair it with this unit and play. Again, if your gaming controller comes with USB cables, it's connected, yes, but there's no drivers that are installed in this unit that can play your games. But again, if you do want to get a very, very cheap box, you just want to play your media center on this, doesn't matter if it's internal storage or outside, this will do that job for you again it is not going to give you 4k and 60 hertz with 10 bit or hdr but it will get you the actual 4k and 30 hertz on this unit itself it is is very inexpensive if you're looking for this links will be available in the bottom where you can order it from and also more information from official website in the bottom of this video at the meantime i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment in the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xctext.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and 